remember the first time I saw the magical lights of Sandton City. They whispered a gentle promise of how bright the future of the greater Sandton area was going to be. Never in my darkest moments did I imagine that these lights might one day stop shining. But when the going gets tough, the tough gets surviving. Sandton Survival Guide with Tiffany K. The Load Shedding Edition. Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany with a P-H-A-N-E. Yes, the dark shadow of load shedding looms over all of us. But that doesn't mean we've forgotten how to survive. And the first rule of survival is having good security. Any Sandton survivor knows that the first thing to hook your Jenny up to is your electric fence. But what if your Jenny has run out of fuel because your maid has been using it to run a fridge at her pop-up shebeen? There's another way you can make sure your fence keeps clicking. And that's by getting someone to make the clicking sounds for you. As most criminals won't know the difference. If it's a long load shed, you might have to do some of the clicking yourself when your clicker needs to go to the toilet. So start practicing. Thanks, Jobby. The clicks sound great. Now that you've got your security sorted, let's see how to survive being inside your house. When the lights go out inside your house, there are a few essential items you simply cannot do without. A torch attached to a key ring that beeps when you clap so you can find it in the dark. Batteries. Also attached to a key ring that beeps when you clap in case the batteries in the torch are flat. Matches. To light your candles, which are attached to a key ring that beeps when you clap. It's tempting to attach everything to a key ring that beeps when you clap, but be careful, more than 10 beeping key rings can make you disorientated and that can lead to a panic attack. Now that you've found your matches and lit your candles, you still need to find ways to pass the town. I like to read the TV guide so I can plan my viewing for when the power comes back on. Planning ahead is a good habit to get into. It's what naughty ESCOM and the government should have done. If you're still struggling to be without TV, use the power of your imagination and a vintage dress to pretend you're living in a time in which electricity doesn't exist. Just keep your cell phone handy in case your dress catches fire. Shit. Hello? Ah, Shao, how's it door? <laughs> no, nothing. I'm just holding a lamp. But even with these great survival tips, for some people, the prospect of being in the dark is just too frightening. For these sensitive souls, I suggest investing in the ultimate survival tool, the Tiffany K Load Shed Shed. The Tiffany K Load Shed Shed. A Tiffany K Load Shed Shed is not a normal shed. It's a shed that you've turned into the safest and happiest place in the world, equipped with all the mod cons you need to spend hours, days, even weeks inside, while the world outside collapses into dark ages mayhem. Load shedding can be survived as long as you follow my advice. And if you like, Give me your email address and I'll send you a free Tiffany K Load Shed Shed brochure which includes pictures of my last holiday in Bali. For the next episode of Sandton Survival Guide, we look at one of the biggest challenges of living in one of the wealthiest cities in Africa. Bad phone signal. Until then, Sandton, I'm Tiffany with a Piaggia Amy. Keep surviving.